Hey there, welcome to the 17 Hats video on Client Portal. Feel free to pause the video to open up your 17 Hats account in a new tab to follow along. 17 Hats Client Portal is a secure, centralized location for your clients to view their important documents and pay invoices, accept quotes, sign contracts, and answer questionnaires. Customers can also preview their upcoming and past event details, as well as update and save their contact information. Here, customers can filter their view by project names. Pin protecting your client portal is optional, but we strongly recommend it to increase the security around your customer's private information. So let's dive right in. Getting started with Client Portal is simple. Step one is to configure your global settings. Let's go to Account Settings, Client Portal. Here you can make edits to your default client portal and see a preview of your changes below. First, let's upload an image for your favicon. A favicon is a small square image that shows in the address bar of your web browser. This image will help brand your client portal and make it more recognizable to your customers. Next, upload your cover image. This image will appear across the top of your client portal. Toggle on your header logo if you'd like, and it will show above your cover image. The logo used here will be the same one that you have uploaded under My Account. You can use all three, two, one, or none. You can customize your portal however you like. Lastly, draft your default welcome message, which will display beneath the cover image. We recommend that you use a welcome and add in a note for the customer to bookmark this page for quick and easy access in the future. Click the Save Message button when you're done, and scroll down to preview the portal and make any edits if necessary. You'll notice that the button and accent color will match with the one that you've designated under Account Preferences. We recommend choosing a color that is opaque and readable. The footer of your client portal will display your email address, business phone number, not to be confused with your mobile number, and your website as they are listed under My Account. Want more customization for each specific client? Move on to step two, where you can personalize your customer's individual client portals. To do so, navigate to a contacts project. Each client portal is specific to the contact as opposed to the individual project, so if your contact has multiple projects, it won't matter which one you're in. Client portals for your old contacts will default to be turned off, and client portals for new contacts will default to be turned on. But don't worry, this doesn't mean that your customers get automatic access to their portals. I'll show you how to give them access in just a few minutes. Click on the arrow here to open up this contact's unique client portal settings. Here, you can choose whether or not to give your customer access to update their contact information, and whether or not you'd like for this portal to be PIN protected, and if so, what four digits you'd like for that PIN to be. You can also upload a custom cover image for this specific portal if you'd like. Doing so will override the default cover image under Account Settings. All of your sent documents will automatically appear inside of Client Portal. At the top here, you can toggle on and off the different document types you'd like for your customers to see. This is an all or none option. Finally, you can create a custom welcome message tailored to this customer if you prefer. Like the cover image, this message will override the default one within your account settings. Hit Save Message. To view this customer's client portal, hit the View Client Portal button to open up a new tab with a preview. A quick tip before you give your customers access to their client portal. Your project and event names will be visible to your customers, so you want to make sure that everything looks professional before granting them access. Once everything looks good, we can move on to the last and final step. Step 3 is to grant your customer access to their client portal. Like our important documents, each client portal has its own unique URL. And also like our documents, access to client portal is shared with your customers via email. Click on the email link button to pull up the default template. You can of course customize this message to your liking. You'll see that some client portal tokens have been pre-added for your convenience. The client portal URL token will show the unique link to the portal itself, which is what the customers will click on to access their portal. The two PIM protected tokens are smart tokens, meaning that the text between them will only appear in the email if PIM protection is turned on for this contact. If PIM protection is not turned on for this contact, then the text between the tokens will not appear. Pretty cool, huh? 
Finally, the client portal pin token here will show the actual four digit pin that you've designated for this contact. Once you're satisfied with your message, you can click send now or schedule the email to go out at a later time. And with that, you've set up client portal and given your customer access to it. If you have any additional questions, please contact our business support through the messenger icon located in the lower right hand corner of your account. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.